do. Hey, welcome back again. So I have a confession to make. Um, it's difficult, but when I first knew about essential oils, I thought that was some woo-woo new age hippie thing. And then <laughs> more recently, I thought this is just another trend that's kind of going through chemist shops and department stores. But as it turns out, essential oils really have quite a long history, don't they? Yeah, they date back to the time of the pharaohs. So Tutankhamun, Cleopatra, even Roman gladiators used them before going into fight in wow. battle. The Chinese and Indians have incorporated them into incense sticks and, and just general practices. And even the Greeks have used essential oils. Okay, so are these like the, the same sort of essential oils that we have today? Not quite. It's what we call plant botanicals. So what they would do is they would get the plant matter and they'd crush it up and they would steep it in some kind of a carrier oil, so olive oil or something like that, or even things like hippopotamus fat and then rub them on their bodies or put them in their baths. It wasn't until Avancina invented the condenser that okay. we were actually able to steam distill essential oils. Okay, and aromatherapy as we know, when did that start? So that wasn't until about the 1930s when a man called René Gattafosse actually had his own experience using lavender oil and then he went on to research a lot of the benefits and being French he coined the term aromatherapy um, which are the two oh, words oh. coming together, the aroma and the therapy. Awesome. Now today we're going to talk a little bit about one of the oldest of essential oils which is one of my favourites, frankincense. So, which I find a deeply spiritual oil. I know it's mentioned in lots of the ancient scriptures. Um, where do we get frankincense from and how do we use it? So frankincense trees are grown in the Middle East. It's the only place where they grow, at, and for a couple of reasons. One is the soils are really, like, you know, they love that dry, arid soils of the Middle East. But the other reason is that that's where they come from, and the Middle Eastern countries are so protective of their frankincense trees because they bring a lot of money, and they're, some of these trees are, you know, hundreds of years old. So that's why they want to maintain the trees. When they actually distill the frankincense oil to get it out of the tree, what they do is they do cuttings on the tree so they basically cut around the outside of the tree now the first and the second cut often mean that the oil is impure because the of the environment that the tree goes in the air all of that kind of stuff so young living actually use the third cut and they get the resin from the trees and then they steam distill the resin and it goes into the bottle and that's how you get frankincense oil okay and how do we use it what are some uses apart from like i love to diffuse it or put it on so i guess i'm using it aromatically aren't i yeah so yoga and meditation mm. is definitely you know a good use of aromatic use of frankincense but it's amazing for skin it's in a lot of really expensive skin products so adding it to your moisturizers or your skincare using it um, to help balance your chakras particularly your crown chakra even massage awesome so coming up in our next session we're going to start talking about essential oil blends which is a whole other kind of thing and we're talking about Panaway which is a really useful essential oil blend so we'll see you then see you guys